Sim. Não. Não, não. Yes. Yes. Otherwise, it could be more like shaking. I made a very small view of Estonia right there. It's um there are two some. There is Kopratal. Who knows what is Kopratal? Here. Here. <laughs> exactly. So there is Kopratal. And uh, there's also Munimagi. Munamagi. Oh, I'm sorry. Munamagi. Munamagi? Because you see it's very hilly outside here. We're in the most hilly part of Estonia. And this mountain is not that far away. Okay, this mountain is Munimagi. It's like eight mountains. It is, it's somewhere, not so far away. What does it mean? Egg? Egg. Moon. Egg. Is that Egg. Egg. Yeah. It's, it's moon. The B. Egg. The B. Moon. The B. <laughs> and it's like the 300 meters tall. So it's huge. It's huge. The highest. Yeah. So this is a very short description of Estonia. Yeah, the mountain is slightly higher than, <laughs> <laughs> than the, the tree line. <laughs> It's a very sunny day, as you all can mm -hmm. see. So yes. the sun, the sun came up. Gloomy day. Even even if you don't see it now, the sun is out there. So the sun came up and you were like waking up and like really waking up from your bed and getting here. And then we had like we, we really get even more awake and we had breakfast. we are very awake. Okay. Now we're going forward. And the time is going. What are we going to do when the sun is even higher? We're going to still getting to know each other a bit. We're going to like open the course officially. And then there is of course like in between here somewhere. Let me see if I can like a coffee break. Of course, we get a coffee break. Um, and then the sun is even higher. And at this point, we're going to work on like what are our expectations, our hopes for this training course, what are the objectives, and like what's going to be the program of the other days. Okay, so we get over here. When the sun is on top, the sun, the sun will be shining. Mm -hmm. There is sunshine. Okay, and the sun is very high in power. <coughs> nice lunch out there, you get some time to rest as well, and then at 3 o'clock, we start again in the afternoon and we will do some group building. And now you got to know each other, even here, like even more, you got to know more than yesterday. And then we will start to, uh, to become a group and to work as a group. Okay, we'll do this in the afternoon. We probably also have somewhere like a coffee break. Again, wake up again. It will be addictive. And then towards the night, I will. Wait. It's already going behind the mountain, eh? the sun probably it will be dark, already start to be dark. And then we go into small groups. Two? Small. Into smaller groups. Oh, okay. But you will hear about it also the night before. We go into smaller groups, we tell you what's the aim, how we're going to do this. And then, yeah, of course the sun is set, but still there is, there is some evening time. The first moon, we get, we get very nice dinner. And then in the evening, well, late evening, the moon is out there, probably we see it, oh, gives us some light, because we might need some light to explore the night. Okay, maybe we have a flashlight, but maybe also some, some help of the moon to go outside and explore the night. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's in short view what we're going to do today. Mm -hmm. you remember? Okay, we will go up, breakfast, go into Open the course, get this to know better, going into expectations. How do we want to get out of here? What are the objectives? What's the program going to look like? Okay, lunchtime, building group, small groups to reflect about the day, dinner, and then we're going to explore the night. Any questions? I just have a question. Mobile phone? 
studied biology, so I'm a scientist, uh, but I'm unemployed now. Uh, I'm in scouting, and uh, that's my uh, uh, part of uh, being youth work, uh, something like that. Good morning, I'm Gilberto. I work in a, an environmental NGO as a youth worker. So uh, I mainly work with, with kids and children, and basically it's that. I'm Sigmund, I'm from, <coughs> from Denmark, but I live in Greece. And I'm working in this uh, NGO with some of my friends. And uh, I'm doing VBS sending now on some different activities. And, we're trying to build an organization. I'm Sue from Belgium. Um, I currently work in an organization on non-formal adult education and I'm dealing with a project about immigrants and like the local population, like the Flemish people, like to get them closer to each other. <coughs> well, I'm Indra. Um, I study computer science. I'm involved in Estonian University Students Union. I'm a member for that. I'm a spokesperson for my school. I'm the acting chairman for Youth Council in my city. Uh, I write projects just for the fun of it. I like to get European Union's money into my pockets, but that hasn't happened yet. I have to use all the money for the proper things that I write about, so that's bad a little. Uh, so yeah, I do volunteer work a lot. Oh, uh, well, basically I do everything. Oh yeah, and I was a drama teacher for two years in a local school, and some other stuff too that I don't remember right now. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, I'm Andre. I'm in the final year at uh, high school from Romania. Uh, I'm not a member of any organization now, but uh, at the moment I try to create a youth in action uh, informal group in my hometown. <coughs> but you probably haven't heard it. Hello, I'm Marius. I'm from Estonia. I'm a member of a few different organizations, uh, youth organizations where I, that I use for participating in different uh, cool projects around the world. Um, and I like, um, usually do it for, for my own projects so I can get more ideas how to make things more good. And um, in future, maybe I try to make some projects about um, alcohol and drug addiction, but also about consciousness and human nature related things. So I work on that basically now. It's, but I also run my own computer business, a side project. Okay, my name is Anna. I come from Greece. I, uh, my organization is called Diana and deals with health promotion. Hello, I'm Mikhail. I'm coming from Romania, from Bucharest. Um, I'm running basically youth work in many projects around the world, but I think the most important is the youth work that I can do in my country with youth from Romania. Um, right now we finished a big project and we are preparing a project in Rwanda on anti-discrimination and conflict uh, resolution. And it's going to involve the, the people who are in conflict zones in, around the world. I'm Marta, I come from Portugal. Um, I work for the local government of a city nearby Porto, which is called Valongo. Um, I work with human rights and equality in general, and I also belong to an organization which uh, promotes um, gender equality, equality between men and women. Hello, my name is Athena. I am from Greece, and uh, I don't have an organization. <coughs> and I do also. I'm just doing my hobbies. <laughs> uh, my name is Daniela. I'm from Romania, from Cluj Napoca. I quit my job this year and I finished my bachelor's degree in law. Now I'm in my master's program in business law, but it's not what I like, so I hope I'll change it. Hello, uh, I'm Matt. I'm from Estonia. Uh, this spring I graduated my art school. So now I'm freelance artist slash dancer. I'm Antela, also from Estonia. And uh, working lately more and more with young people uh, with 
and we think topics of uh, active participation and, uh, and basically I'm very interested just in uh, lifelong lear learning and, uh, and non-formal learning and uh, I'm also a member, uh, a new member let's say of this uh, organization uh, that is kind of, uh, the Estonian partner in this uh, project called Kodumant, the name of this organization and it means home. So, uh, we'll talk about that uh, organization a bit later on.